What's going on, you guys? This is Sticky Forty SX. Uh, this is gonna be my vlog one from here on out. Uh, I want to post a lot more on YouTube and show you guys about my journey with the Z. This video is very special. This is my first time ever going to a racetrack of 2020 and first time ever taking the Z to the racetrack. Um, some people may know I bought the car like about six months ago and it is completely stock. Completely stock. And the reason behind that is I haven't added any springs, you know, um, downpipes, intake. I haven't added any of that yet. I want to see how the car handles and performs on stock form. I want the car to teach me what it likes and what it doesn't like. And um, so, here's my journey. Like, really, it started off, um, you know, I bought it from um, the original owner. They were elders, and they were having a hard time getting in and out of the car. So, you know, I gave them a good offer and they're like, sure, we'll sell it to you, you know. Picked it up, I did all major maintenance on the car. You know, oil change, oil filters, cabin filters, transmission flush, diff flush, you know, I, I put all solid, you know, all Motig, Motul, you know, fluids in there, making sure I get the best of best. 370Zs, they tend to run really hot. You know, even on daily driving, uh, your oil temperature can be like around 220, floating at 220. And if you do any kind of spirit you're driving, you'll see 255, 260 all day long. All day long. So I went ahead and uh, ordered a uh, Z1 Motorsports uh, oil cooler kit that utilizes a 34 row Cetrep oil cooler and a um, oil sandwich plate. You know, I, I got all the bells and whistles on that, you know, and it made a dramatic difference. You know, my cruises to the canyons I would see up to 250 255 sometimes you know and then you know on a, on a 70 to 80 degree weather but with the oil cooler it went down to no more than like 210 215 and that is a dramatic difference dramatic difference as far as the oil goes um, and then also seas are known for their fuel starvation also reached out to Z1 I was like hey you guys have any solution for this and they're like yes we do you know 500 bucks we'll ship it out to you and it's a uh, anti-starvation kit ordered that and that did that solved the problem until I broke the actual bucket two days before the track days two days once when I found out I reached out to a guy that parted out the 370Z. Told me, I was like, let me get you a fuel bucket. Picked it up from LA the day before the track day. I literally had like 10 hours before track day started. And like nine o'clock at night, I'm installing the fuel pump. And um, I kind of rushed it because I was getting exhausted after being in LA traffic. It's It just burns you out. Installed it and I kind of pinched the the gasket on the way to a track. Like my friend with the 335, you'll see on the video. He just told me he had to call me and tell me, "It's like, dude, your car smells really bad. Like, you think you could compete? I mean, you think you could even go to a track?" And um, you know, that's the last thing you want to hear before pulling up at the track. You know, can you even compete with the condition with the fucking car? You know, everything else is solid except the fuel. At that moment <clears throat> so after the driver's meeting I had to go back and fix the fuel system at the track you know good thing was that like our first session was like two hours from the, the driver's meeting so I had two hours of time but luckily with my friend's help you know we had it back on like in an hour and the car was I, I didn't smell any more fuel after that no no more fuel fumes and that was good uh, as far as at the track, the car, like I said, did so amazingly well. You know, the M3 is based off of the 335s, you know, the chassis and chassis wise. You know, there's so much similarities in the 3 Series. And and to think that, you know, a bone stock 370Z was keeping up with it, 
like I was extremely happy. And, and, and you know, he has so much at the malls. He has like sway bars, full coilovers, full, full adjustable coilovers, you know, arms, sticky tires. You know, he's running um, the RS Pros, like super sticky tires. Same, same rotors and pads as me. But suspension wise, he had way more dialed in than I did. And to think that he could not pull me away in the corner. So we were just, boom, just identically just following each other. It was a lot of fun. So go ahead and watch the video and uh, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below and uh, enjoy guys.